Savior forever. He sought me and brought me with his redeeming blood. He loved me ere I knew him, and all my love is to him. He plunged me to victory beneath the cleansing flood. I heard about his healing of his cleansing blood. Great healing, how he made the lame to walk again and caused the blind to see. And then he cried, Dear Jesus, come and heal my broken spirit. I then obeyed his blessed commands and gained the victory. No oh, victory in Jesus, my Savior, forever. He sought me and brought me with his redeeming blood. He loved me ere I knew him, and all my love is to him. He plunged me to victory beneath the cleansing flood. I heard about a mansion he is built for me in glory. And I heard about the streets ago beyond the crystal sea. About the angels singing and the old redemption story. And some sweet day I'll sing up there the songs of victory. Oh, victory in in Jesus, my Savior, forever. He sought me and brought me with his redeeming blood. He loved me ere I knew him, and all my love is to him. He plunged me to victory beneath the cleansing flood. Oh, victory in Jesus, my Savior forever. He sought me and he brought me with his redeeming I knew him and all my love is Will he plunge me to victory beneath the cleansing flood? I'll let the church say amen. Oh, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God's been good to us. <laughs> amen. 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 Praise the Lord. I'm going to do something this morning that, that y'all wasn't expecting and I wasn't expecting to do it either. Oh, Lord, help me, Jesus. Brother Al Curry, I want you to sit up here on this, on this front row. Brother Richard Curry, sit up on this front row. Brother McGill, sit up on this front row. I know that y'all wasn't, wasn't ready for this. Come on up here on this front row. Um, uh, Brother oh, Burns, you all the way up here. Brother Jamie, bring me those two mics back there. Whatever you got back there, bring them up here. Yeah. You got the you got the one with the uh, where's Brother Malone? Where's James Malone? Come on up here. Oh yeah, yeah. Ah, praise the Lord. Brother Ed, scoot over. All right. Plug it in. Plug it in. Brother 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 um Shimwell. Get back to Brother Al. Looking for your glass. Oh, you, yo, the, the brother, the brother just can't. The brother can't keep up with them glasses. Brother McGill, get back to Brother McGill. Uh, do we have another one? All right, get back to get back to uh, right here, Brother Malone. There you go. There you go. Now. Uh, Burns, come on up here with me. Huh? So what do I need to do? Oh, you need to come over here. Brother Al. Jamie, Jamie's going to do it for you. <laughs> All right. Okay. 
Now, 573. Y'all turn y'all's Bible. Yep, listen to me. Turn your song books to page 573. I shall not be moved. All right? We're going to sing this song. All right? Now, yeah, 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 yeah. Curry, come on up here. Yeah. <laughs> Shim <laughs> All right. Shim you can't see it up there. All right. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. We got a problem. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Now, we're going to. All right. Baritone, bass, tenor. Sing it. Let's go. <laughs> Glory, hallelujah, I shall not be moved. I anchored in Jehovah, I shall not be moved. Just like a tree that's planted by the water, I shall not be moved. Sing it, church. I shall not be, I shall not be moved, I shall not be, I shall not be moved, just like a tree that's planted by the water, I shall not be moved, in his love abiding, I shall not be moved. And in him confiding, I shall not be moved just like a tree that's planted by the waters. I shall not be moved. Sing a church. I shall not be, I shall not be moved. I shall not be, I shall not be moved just like a tree that's planted by the waters. I shall not be moved. Verse 3. Oh, hell sells me, I shall not be moved. Jesus will not fail me, I shall not be moved. Just like a tree that's planted by the waters, I shall not be moved. I shall not be, I shall not be moved, I shall not be, I shall not be moved just like a tree that's planted by the waters, I shall not be moved. Verse 4. The whole is raging, I shall not be moved On the rock of ages, I shall not be moved Just like a tree that's planted by the waters I shall not be moved Sing it! I shall not be, I shall not be moved I shall not be, I shall not be moved Just like a tree that's planted by the waters I shall not be moved Let the church say amen. Hey, thank you. Amen. Wasn't that beautiful? Uh, oh, yes, yes, yes. Now, let me just be clear. <laughs> There ain't no scripture for one song leader. The one person got to stand up here and lead the singing. Okay? Just, just understand that. But when you do sing, you ought to sing. Huh? You ought to sing and make a melody in your heart unto the Lord. Praise be unto God. Now, some of y'all are be texting brother Joe and him be fussing <laughs> yes amen in honor of this God would you please stand and turn your Bibles to the book of Genesis account 
the 28th chapter, the 28th chapter, the 28th chapter of the book of the Genesis account. Genesis chapter 28. Y'all have that in your Bible? Amen. Praise be unto God. Genesis, the 28th chapter. I'm going to begin reading at verse number 14, and up verse number 10. The Bible, the word of God says, And Jacob went out from Bathsheba and went toward Haran. And he lighted upon a certain place and tarried all night. Because the sun was set, and he took the stones of that place and put them on his pillows and lay down in that place to sleep. And he dreamed, and behold, a ladder set up on the earth and the top of it reached where to heaven y'all say heaven. heaven and behold the angels of God as ascending and what descending on it and behold the Lord stood above it and said I am the God of Abraham, thy father, and of God, and the God of Isaac, and the land whereon thou lieth, to thee will I give it, and to thy seed, and thy seed shall be as the dust of the earth. And thou shalt spread abroad to the west and to the east and to the north and to the south. And in thee and in thy seed shall all the families of the earth be blessed. This morning, I want to speak to you from the overall subject, the theme of unplugged to the world and plugged into Christ. This morning's subtopic is entitled Heaven's Power Grid. God bless you, and you may be seated. Heaven's Power grid. Now, last week we began this series of lessons and we talked to you about the electrical grid. Now you can't see that up there. Now there's something wrong with our system and we got to get a new, got to get a new, uh, get this new um, uh, uh, power thing up there. But I come to tell you, a power grid is where the power source that communities and you get your power from. I come to tell you, there are two, there are two power grids in our world today. Brother Tony, you got to get for me Ephesians chapter 6. I, I don't know where my boys are. They told me they, they could read. They, 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 ought, they ought not be back there. They ought to be up here. Uh, amen. Because I want y'all to gonna start reading with Brother Tony. Amen. Uh, uh, Brother Tony, uh, in the book of Ephesians chapter 6, uh, over there we find that there's a power grid that the scripture talks about. In, in Ephesians chapter 6 and verse number, tw verse number 10, what does it say? Verse number 
verse 10. Finally, my brethren. Finally, my brethren. Be strong, be in, the strong Lord, in the Lord. And in the power, in the of, power his of his strength. Read. Put on the whole Put on the of whole. God. Now, 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 now there, there's a power. He says there's a power. Don't put your armor on because your armor does not have the power. You got to put the power suit on. Amen. The power that God has because only God has the power to be able to sustain you in this life. Read. That you may be able that to you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. We wrestle not we wrestle not against, against, flesh, and blood, blood, against blood, flesh and blood, but against principles. But against principles. Now listen. Now he says what you're wrestling against is principalities. Read against powers, powers against the rulers of the against darkness. Against the of this rulers world. of the darkness of this world. Against spiritual against, wickedness in this, high places. This wickedness, this spiritual wickedness, is in high. Places. Go over to Ephesians chapter 2. We were here last week, but they done forgot it. They don't, they, they done forgot that scripture. Beginning at verse number 2, the Bible says what? Wherein in time, Wherein in time past, past, you walked according, you walked according, to, the according to the course, of this, course of this world, according, according to, the to the prince, prince of the power of the air. There's, there, there's a power in the air, folks. There's a power in the air that, that's out here to confuse you, to cause you to be able to turn Turn away from God. To unplug your life from God. Read. The spirit that the, now worketh the spirit, in the children the of disobedience. That, that worketh now in the children of disobedience. Where it, read. Among whom uh, also, among, also all he said, every, I don't turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor. Past. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor. neighbor. We all used to walk like this. Under the power of the devil. Now y'all, I know some of y'all think y'all wasn't that bad, but I want you to know something. Y'all wasn't y'all wasn't that good. That Jesus died for you. That you didn't need the blood of Jesus. I'm here to tell y'all today. We need the blood. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor. I need the blood. You need, all of us need the blood of Jesus. And it's without the blood of Jesus, we, we are still walking in darkness. Now, the power. There's two power grids. Drop down to verse 13. He says, at that time, you were, in verse 11, says, at that time, you were without Christ. You, you were strangers from the covenants of, of promise, having no hope and without God and having no hope in the world. But verse 13 tells us this. But now, but now in Christ Jesus, ye who were sometimes afar off have been brought near by the blood. It took the blood of Jesus. I don't care who you are in here today. It took Jesus' blood to die for you. To bring us to where we need to be in Christ Jesus. It was the blood, children. Now, he says now, there are two, two power grids. My brothers and sisters, Jacob, Jacob, y'all can't see that, ain't no need to me fooling with it. Jacob's life was a contradiction. A character of both good and bad. Sometimes he walked <laughs> with God, and sometimes he took the steps of sin for men. Sometimes he had a mind that was set upon the spiritual things of God and sometimes he walked in the carnality of his heart. Sometimes he had a life that had periods of being up and then there were times in his life where he found himself down into the gutter of man's life. Jacob's life is a clear picture of the spiritual struggle. 
go over to the book of Galatians chapter 5 if you would go over there's a struggle going on in the heart of man in Galatians chapter 5 and beginning at verse number 16 now well, let's go back to verse 14 so we'll get it all read for all the law is fulfilled in one word even in this, uh -huh. thou shalt love, love thy neighbor, neighbor as see, thyself. See, if he'd have loved like he ought to have loved, he wouldn't have been down that road. Read. But if you bite and but you devour you one bite another. bite and you devour. So let me tell you all something. When you bite and tear people down, do you not know you're tearing yourself down? Oh, y'all better say amen. amen. I, do you know when you tear your husband down, sisters, you are you, you tearing yourself down. Husbands, when you tear your wife down, you're tearing yourself down. Children, when you tear your parents down. Oh, Lord, y'all. Y'all act like y'all don't know the Bible. Read. Take heed that you be Take, not consumed. He says, he says when, you, when you bite, you, when you bite each other, you just, you just gonna be consumed. Read this. I say this. This I say this. Walk in the, walk spirit, in the spirit, and you, and you shall, shall not fulfill, fulfill the lust, the lust of, the of the flesh. Read for the flesh. For the flesh well, he the says, spirit. there's, you know, there's a problem going on in man's life. Man is a struggle. Paul says over there in, Gal in Romans 7, the good that I would do, I don't do. The evil that I don't want to do, that see, that's the very thing that I do. I didn't want to cuss the man out, but I did. Somebody say amen. Y'all know y'all done cuss somebody out before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah my brothers and sisters despite all of the struggles Jacob was going through despite all of the struggles that he was going through in his life <laughs> God gave him the promise God gave him gave him the love that only Jesus see God didn't God didn't wait till you got good <laughs> to run over to Romans chapter 5 they didn't say amen fast enough and I won't over here I can't go on into Romans chapter 5 because they didn't they didn't say in Romans chapter 5 beginning at verse number 6 what does it say for when we were yet without when strength, we were yet without strength, in due time, in due time when, you, when you couldn't help you, have any of y'all ever been in a position where you couldn't help yourself? Say amen. You found yourself against a, a rock in a hard place, and you couldn't get, you didn't know which way to go, and you couldn't help yourself. Anybody in there been sick? I mean, real sick. Hey, say amen if you can. I mean, so sick that you couldn't hardly get up out of the bed. Y'all ever been that way? You ever been? Have, how many of y'all have ever been? And depressed in your life where you couldn't hardly it, it, it was hard for you to even want to just you couldn't even move couldn't even go in and brush your teeth that's a that's a that's a sad situation to be in am i right about it when you so you're so uh, 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 uh stressed out that you can't even move it it, 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 it makes your toes hurt to move well, I come to say, Jesus, the Bible says, when you were without strength, Christ died. Read. In due time. In due time. Christ died, Christ for, the died for the ungodly. Verse one, run down to verse number eight, if you will. Let me check. Go, go God over. commanded God, the Lord Look at what God us. did. When, when you were, didn't have no strength, God commanded his, he said, love, get on down there. Brother Ed needs your love. Get down there. Stevenson needs your love. He don't deserve it. The devil is telling him, Stevenson, he doesn't deserve it. You ought to kill him. But God commanded his love. <laughs> he commanded his love. I'm glad. He says he commanded his love when we were yet what? Sinners. sinners Christ died for when us. we were sinners Christ died for us my brothers and sisters 
Did we use, did we have any sinners in the house? Amen. They found the grace of God. Is there anybody in the house that God's grace found you when you were a sinner? Oh, somebody ought to say amen if you can. I know some of y'all, some of y'all, some of y'all think y'all was a good catch for God, but I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't one. <laughs> Amen. I'm glad he. I'm glad he didn't ask y'all. Do y'all think I need to catch Stevenson? Because some of y'all would say, "Oh no, 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 no." <laughs> Jacob stands out as a blazing example of a man's struggles trying to live in two worlds. James, the Lord's brother, said in James chapter 1 and verse number 8, a double-minded man is what? Unstable in all. Do you wonder why you walk around so unstable? Is it because you're trying to live in both worlds? Our Sunday school lesson this morning was uh, Romans chapter 12. I be Come on, children, say it with me. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you do what? Present your bodies, what? A living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. He says the first thing you got to do is to present your body. A living sacrifice. Holy, acceptable. You, your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. My brothers and sisters, there's two powers in this world. Either you are living under the power of Jesus or you're living under the power and the greed of Satan. Jacob is an example of those who try to live on both sides of the fence. First of all, first thing, Jacob is an example of a man struggling under the power grid of Satan. In chapter 27, we find that Jacob, that uh, uh, East, that um, uh, uh, Isaac, their father. Jacob had a twin brother named Esau. And their father was uh, uh, Isaac, who was the son of Abraham. And in the 27th chapter, Isaac calls J uh, uh, Esau to whom he loved. Now here's the problem. Here's the first problem. We find over there in the 26th uh, chapter and, uh, and the 27th chapter, we find that Jacob, that uh, uh, Isaac, uh, Isaac loved Esau and Rebekah, their mother, loved Jacob. Now, do y'all see what the problem is? Huh? Y'all do y'all understand what the problem is, or do I need to preach it? See, children, let me tell you parents something, and you grandparents, let me tell you, you love all your children the same. Do y'all hear what I said? Yeah, you love them all, and don't be talking about that's your child, and this is and this is my child. See, that was what was going on over there, and those children knew, it, and they played it to the heel. In the twenty seventh chapter, Isaac had gotten old, and that what it said in verse number one, brother Tony. Huh? What does it say? And it and, came to and pass, it came to pass that, Isaac that was old. when he got old, and his eyes now, were now, now, some, it, Can some of y'all relate to that? How many of y'all's eyes are going a little bad now? Say man if you can. See, so let me tell you something. When you get old, that's why you do right when you're young. So when you do get old, you don't act a fool. <laughs> Y'all be seeing old folks get, talking about they see now and they, they just done got where they were when they was young. <laughs> yeah. And read. So that he could not see. He couldn't see. He called Esau, his eldest son, uh -huh. and said unto him, uh -huh. My son. My, now, my son. Now see, Rebecca in a few minutes is going to call Jacob her son. 
he called him so he could bless him. He said, go out and, and kill some venison and then make me some savory meat. He says, make me some pottage. And so, that I may bless you before the Lord. Well, Rebecca, the mother, heard that. And she told Jacob, come over here. Your daddy is calling Esau and he's going to bless Esau. Now here's what you're going to do. I want you to go and put some hair on you, put some camel's hair some on, your, on your arms and on your face and, you, and put some smell uh, uh, like the venison on you so you're, and you're going to trick. Now let me tell you what, let me tell you something. Jacob is an example of a man struggling under the power of Satan's grid. And let me be clear. Satan will use somebody close to you to cause you to be his instrument of lying and deceit. Now, now listen here now. God had already promised this boy he was going to be the blessed child. But, there, but this war that Satan got into the midst of it. And I want you all to know Satan's got powerful angels. Powerful angels that are doing his bid, bidding his, his cause in this life. Run over, they don't believe me. Run over to the book of uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 11. Go on over there and get for me. Because, man, if y'all would just say, man, I can move on with this. Uh, do y'all know Satan's got some angels causing people to do wrong? Amen. Whew, Lord have mercy. In the book of 2 Corinthians chapter, uh, what does I say, 11? What does verse 14 say? 2 Corinthians. 2 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse number 14. What does for, uh, verse 14 say? I think that's what I'm looking for. All right. Now, now, now he says what now? He says what, Brother Tony? And no marvel. And don't be marveling. For Satan himself. For Satan himself. Transformed is trans an now, now, I told y'all, like. he is a powerful instrument. He's, a, he's so powerful, he can change directions. He can make you look like, he, like he's an angel from heaven, but he ain't nothing but the hell, but the devil from hell. Read. Therefore, Therefore there's no great thing. There's no great thing. His ministers. Oh, that also his ministers be be transformed as ministers into of ministers. righteousness. And I come to tell you, Satan's got some powerful ministers out here who will trick you. Okay. I, now, if y'all have said, I wouldn't have had to come over here if y'all had just said, Amen. Jacob, his mother, was used by Satan to cause this boy to be a liar and a deceiver. But Jacob also was an example of a man being plugged into the power grid of God. Even in all of that, when he was nothing but a liar and a deceit, God reached out to him. In the 28th chapter of the book of Genesis account, here we find, here we find, beginning at verse uh, number, uh, uh, let's cut it to, a, uh, to the chase there, brother, uh, and let's see uh, what, what, what verse uh, number 14 has to say. And thy seed shall be as the dust of the earth. Now let's go back to, uh, let's go, uh, what did I tell you to go? Go to 28, uh, 28, uh, chapter 20. You in chapter 28? Go, go to verse 24. That's what I'm looking for. In chapter 28? That's right. Mm -hmm. 32. I'm sorry. Go to chapter 32. Y'all know where I'm trying to get to. Chapter 32. <laughs> and verse 24, what does it say? And Jacob was left and, alone. And Jacob was left alone. And there wrestled and a man wrestled. with him. Now, 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 here comes God now. Here comes a man 
Now, now, we, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Go on back to chapter 28. That's what I want. I'm trying to bring Jacob's ladder down here, y'all. <laughs> Amen. In chapter 28, what does it say? Uh, uh, in verse 14. Verse 14. And thy seed shall be as the dust of the earth. All right. And thou shalt spread abroad to uh -huh. the west, Read. and to the east, and to the north, oh, and to the south. Oh, my goodness gracious. What and in it? thee, and in thy seed, uh -huh. shall all the families uh, of go, the go earth Go back be to blessed. verse number 10. Go back to verse number 10. Go to verse number 10. Let's and see. Jacob went out mm -hmm. from Beersheba. All right. And went that's toward the That's what I'm hitting. All right. Read. And he lighted upon a certain and he place. Up upon a certain place. And tarried there, and tarried all, night there all night. Because the sun because was set. The sun was set. And he took of the stones of that place. That's right. Read. And put them on his right, pillows. Read. And laid down. And laid that down. Place now, to now, sleep. Mm -hmm, read. And he dreamed. Now, now, now. And he dreamed. Read. And behold. And behold. A ladder set uh, up now, now, on now, the now, earth. Now, a, I wish y'all could see this ladder. I wish y'all could see this ladder. And the Bible says what? He dreamed. He dreamed. And behold. And behold. A ladder. A ladder. Up oh, on that's the earth. a beautiful ladder. Y'all say a beautiful ladder. Yeah. All right. That's a beautiful ladder. Read. And the top of it. And the top of it reached all the way from earth to heaven. heaven. Read. And behold. And behold. The angels now, of God. Now, 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 I want you to see. The angels of God is doing what? Us. Now, now, I, it's important that you understand that they are ascending. Did y'all hear me? Uh, they say, turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, they are ascending. What's the importance of that? Because it lets you know that there are angels down here already. There are angels down here, and they're, amen. That's why the Hebrew writer in Hebrews 13 says, Be careful how you treat a stranger, because you may be entertaining angels unaware. There are angels. Now, 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 now don't ask me what they look like. I don't know. She might be one. <laughs> treat everybody treat everybody right he said there's angels ascending and, and descending. descending on it and let me tell you something they're on the power grid and y'all think that ladder don't mean nothing but I want y'all to know <laughs> that's Jacob's ladder but we got a ladder reaching there too Go over, somebody say amen. If, go to the book of John chapter 1. I want to show you who that ladder is. In the book of John chapter 1, uh, over there and around verse number 51. I want y'all to see that ladder. <laughs> In verse 51, what does it say? And he saith unto him. And he said unto him. Verily, verily, I say unto mm him. -hmm, mm -hmm. Hereafter ye shall see heaven uh, open. Oh, and the angels and, oh, ascending and, and descending, descending upon the sun. Oh, Lord have mercy. I told y'all, Jesus is the ladder. Jesus is the ladder, y'all. And until you get into the power of Jesus, you ain't going to go nowhere. Hmm. Oh, Jacob. Jacob is an example of a person who was once plugged in and pl unplugged himself. As he went on through life, he went his mother sending down to his br her brother's house. And there Laban tricked him and, and he fell into all kinds of trickery and deceit. But then we find God bringing him home. In the book of the Genesis account, the 32nd division, God tells him, go on back to Bethel. Go on back to Bethel. 
Go back to where in Genesis 28 and uh, uh, that you said, this is none other than the house of the Lord. Where you put your pillow and you call it Bethel. That is the place. Now I want you all to know that Bethel that he put where he put the pillow down as uh, the rocks down as his as his uh, pillar he made an altar there at Bethel and I want you to know that Bethel that he was at is the Jerusalem of the day of then and now that is Jerusalem let me tell you all something God has always been in Jerusalem make no mistake about it put your finger on turn to your neighbor and say neighbor God is in Jerusalem oh that's going to mean something to you that's going to mean something to you in just a moment in just a moment just Jacob the Bible says uh, in, in the book of uh, Genesis 32 that uh, Jacob now is back on his way to Bethel to get, his, to get right with his brother. He has deceited. He has been afraid. He's afraid. He's afraid to go and meet his brother. How many of y'all have ever, have, a, have a taken something from your, from your brother or sister and, 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 you, and then you're scared to go and even meet him? Huh? Somebody say amen. You're not lying to him and you're scared to go. Huh? You don't even go down. You see him coming down one side of the street, you go on the other side because you don't, you don't want to face him. Oh, Lord, help me, Jesus. Ain't no need of y'all lying. I don't know. I done been around you a long time. Somebody say amen if you can. We're beginning at verse now. Now he's on his way back, and the Bible says uh, in verse number uh, 24, what does the scripture say? And Jacob was left alone. And he was all by himself. And how many of y'all have ever been felt like you were all alone in your life? Feel like you're just you're all by yourself. Read. And there wrestled a and, man and with him. Here, here comes until the break of the day. a man wrestling with Jacob, wrestling with him, wrestled with him all night. How many of y'all have ever been up all night? Couldn't go to sleep. You tossed and turned. You just couldn't go to sleep. You you just, you, you know you, you go this way. You go that way. I remember a story told. I remember a story told uh, during the Civil War. A soldier had been wounded, and uh, and the uh, captain uh, uh, told him, said, uh, "Son, go, go uh, give me your gun and go back to the back of the of the line and, and get some rest." Well, he gave the he gave the captain his his uh, his, his weapon, and he went to the no. He went on back to the back, and 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 he got there. And he said, "Hmm." Shoot, sure, they fighting back here too. <laughs> so he went. So he went to the. He went to the. Uh, amen. He went to the east. Burns. They were fighting over on that side too. <laughs> amen. He turned around, went to the west, and he looked over and he said, "Oh Lord!" He went over there and said, "Oh Lord, have mercy!" They fighting over there. He says, "If I go to the front, they fighting. If I go to the back, they fighting. If I go to the east, go to the west, they fight." He went back to the cap captain. Give me my weapon back. <laughs> My brothers and sisters, too many of you have given up your weapon. You have given your weapon up. The weapon of your warfare is not carnal, but it's mighty to the pulling down of strongholds. It's time for you to get your weapons back. Jacob was wrestling all night long. He couldn't, didn't know what to do because he had done wrong. He knew he had. He had done wrong to his brother. My brothers and sisters, some of you have done wrong to your family and you don't even speak to your family no more yeah. <sighs> families are not speaking to each other sisters and brothers haven't spoke to each other in a long time it's time for you straighten this thing out yeah. oh somebody say amen if you can yeah. yeah yeah I know I know Jacob and he wrestled all night long and then he said read and when he saw that he prevailed and not against him all right read he touched the hollow of his thigh he said no, no he said he wrestled all night long and when the, and when the angel saw that he couldn't prevail against him he touched his he touched his thigh you're wondering why some folk are walking around. Maybe the angel that touched your thigh. I ain't bothering nothing. Read. 
and the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint we. as he wrestled with him. We. And he said, He said, what? Let me go. Let me go. For the day breaking. The, the angel said, Let me go. Because I got to get out of here. The day is coming. Let me go. What did Jacob say? And he said, I will not I let will you go. I will not let you except go. Except thou bless I, I, me. I'm not, Lord, I'm not going to let you go until you bless me. Tell the Lord, Lord, I'm not going to quit you. I know I'm hurting, but I'm not going to quit. I'm going to keep on running. We've come too far to turn around now. I'm a hard fighting soldier on the battlefield bringing souls to Jesus I come to tell you it's time for you to stay on the battlefield you must be like a tree that will not be moved my brothers and sisters he said I won't let you go until you bless me Read. And he said unto him, Read. What is thy name? <laughs> I'm trying to tell you now. It's, it's, it's time for the blessing now. And he said, <laughs> and he, said he says, My name is Jacob. <laughs> he says, uh, Now, Jacob was his bad name, y'all. Amen. Jacob was his name that he was a liar in. Jacob was his name that he was deceitful in. Read. And he said, And he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob. Your name shall not be any longer Jacob, but Israel. But Israel. Now you wonder, how did we get to the children of Israel? It was right here. It was right here. God said, <laughs> Your names are no longer. There's somebody here today that needs a name change. <laughs> somebody here needs a name change. I heard, I heard, I heard the apostle Peter say that there is none other name given among men in heaven or in earth whereby we can be saved. You need a, you need a, you need a name change. Your name isn't good enough. I come to tell you, Peter had a name change. Paul the apostle, he was called Saul of Tarsus, but he had a name change. My brothers and sisters, there's some folk here today, you need a name change. How do you get your name changed? By the blood of Jesus Christ coming down from the, as the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. I come to tell you, you need a name change. You need your name to change. We're no longer, our home is not this world. Amen. It's the children we were talking about in Sunday school they they declared we are uh, we are in the world but we are not of the world this how this world can no longer be my home i i'm a child my name is child of god my name is christian that's what my name is. I, I ain't no Baptist Christian. I ain't no Methodist Christian. I ain't no Catholic whatever. I'm just a Christian. <laughs> and they were first called Christian in India. They thought it was ugly, but God meant it for good. You can be a Christian today by having your sins washed away in the blood of Jesus. By believing that Jesus is the Christ. Repentance. Repent. Turn from where you are and turn to Jesus. Confess him and be buried in the watery grave of baptism where the blood will meet you there in baptism. The blood. The blood. Somebody needs the blood today. Children need the blood. All folk need the blood. Parents need the blood. You need the blood. And if you've been like Jacob... If you've been like Jacob and you've gone back into the Belgian elements of the world, I come to tell you, come out. Come out. Plug yourself back into God. Plug yourself back in to the power source. Put on the whole armor of God that you might be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. 
And when you have done all that you can do to stand, he says, just stand. And the truth of the matter is, it's not you standing the way. It is the Lord standing and propping you up. If you're here this day and you need subject, you stand subject to the invitation of Jesus, you need prayer this morning, you come. Let your request be made known as we stand. Hear my Savior call, I can hear my Savior calling.